How's it going, guys? So we got a guest over here flew over from Hong Kong, right? Mm. So, fill us in. What can we do to help you? Uh, I got a serious uh, upper back pain and uh, neck. I can't really uh, focus and concentrate mm -hmm. uh, constantly at all times, and sometimes a little bit dizziness, and uh, my shoulder feel tight all the time, and my lower back uh, a serious soreness. And I'm sitting for uh, quite a, um, around 15 to 30 minutes. I uh, feel sore already. And, and actually, if I, I can't really stand for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's all. And some sort of uh, constipation mm -hmm. at the moment, yes, that's all. So when you say constipation, how many bowel moves do you have per day? Uh, Maximum once, mm -hmm. sometimes only once per two days. Okay, yeah, that's constipation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, okay, let's go ahead. Let's take a look, see what we got. So, what we're doing right now is instrumentation. We're looking for signs of inflammation, which is a signal system telling your body you got to go fix this area. Now, one of the byproducts are two indicators we're looking for, and that's localized swelling. And also abnormal temperature. So I remember seeing you got a pooling over here, fluid, and there's something on that level. There you are. So we're seeing a lot of pooling right over here and it's chronic for quite some time. So tracing the edge all around like this and it keeps on going way down below. So now let's check, see what's going on. Tender right here? Yes. Yeah. See it's all swollen around the sacroiliac joint. Not too bad here, huh? Just uh, a little bit. Right. Yeah. Only a little demon, but not too much. So let's check. Yeah, that's not moving whatsoever. That's sacrum. Yeah, right side's okay. Let's see what else is going on here. How's that fellow right there? Sharp pain. Sharp pain? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something's over there. How's this fellow right there? Uh, stuck. I feel like uh, it's stuck right there. Just yeah. can't open up. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take another look at this fellow. Second dorsal here, not too long. Feel this over here? Soreness. Yeah, it's all puffy and swollen here yeah, too. Yeah, uh, pain, yeah. Mm -hmm. so muscles and your body try to guard, protect something here too. So let's take a look. Feel that right there? Wow, pain. Yeah. That's not a happy camper. All right, let's check out this real quick. Yeah, that's stuck too. That's not moving too well right yeah. there. That was a jam. I found a problem here. Mm. Right? And we're going to cover that a lot more in depth on the x-rays in a short bit. The reason I'm covering over here is because there is something I'm also seeing in the x-ray I want to clarify. Now on the stomach, as we see over here, there are nerves to it. The nerves, so over here, they go straight to the back. Right? Now, based on what I see over here, right? We usually have two gates. One gate over here, another gate over here. Now, when this gate doesn't work, that's where a lot of people know about it. That's what we call heartburn because the gate's wide open, all the acid goes straight back up the esophagus, and we feel all the acid gives that burning sensation. Mm -hmm. Now, when we have the bottom gate, when that opens up wide open, okay, all the bowel gas from down here 
goes straight up into the stomach. It fills it like a balloon. So that's where I want to know, have you ever felt the need to, you ever felt bloated or gassy, or you felt like the need to belch or burp? Uh, not quite often to burst, but... But what about gas or bloating? Sometimes you feel gas at the stomach, the stomach, yeah, the at this area. area, yeah, better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Because that's what I'm seeing in the x-ray, and we're going to touch base on that. So, because this one over here, the nerve is not functioning properly over here, is not allowing this gate over here to close properly. From here to here. And it's allowing all the gas to go get trapped into the stomach itself. So we test confirm, do some straightforward, right? It's your, your sacrum, the left side of the sacrum. This one got knocked out of alignment. So because this one became unstable, that's the reason why you see the rest of your spine, it did like this way. Mm. And the top of your neck over here, it went even more this way. So that's why you feel even more tension going on because it's being twisted on both ends. Mm. So that can help explain why you feel that tension going on with your shoulders, your mid back, yeah. the whole entire nine yards yeah. from that region. Now, touching base what's going on over here. What I also see that's gonna make things a little interesting curveball is this fifth lumbar over here. This bone over here, this is something you were born with. Your body try to make this part of this, mm. right? So because of that, that little difference, right? It's not a true fifth lumbar. So the biomechanics of it is going to be slightly different as well. This one over here, in terms of stability, that's going to be a good question over there. I'm not guaranteeing anything. We need to correct this one first. We're going to reevaluate and see what's going on to all the structures above that. Mm. Now, the next component is that that's the reason why I asked you during the consultation, and you said your mom is here also from Hong Kong, right? She's here. We had translation, we asked about. What happened to here? Now, as we see over here, all these bones, rectangle shapes. Mm. So number five, this is not a rectangle shape. See it over here? No, this is straight. Yeah. Right? But see what happened over here? Not straight. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. It looks almost like a blade in there. Mm. So it's curved this way, curved that way. This is now formed. So in essence, what happened is with this bone over here, it got crushed, mm. right? So this fifth dose over here, it got crushed a bit. Actually, not quite a bit, moderately crushed, mm -hmm. right? This is, you lost about 30% of the height of, of, on this one over here. So because it's, it's not a typical flat surface like this, this bone bearing over here doesn't have a proper surface to balance on. Mm. So that's part of the reason why you see its body's curved even more like this way. Mm. It goes over here. So in other words, in terms of, can we make your shoulder problems, everything else permanent, a mm. permanent correction? We can't. Because mm. this got damaged. Okay. Now we can help stabilize this thing as much as possible, but in terms of permanently correcting it, no, not possible. Mm. Even a surgeon, no. The best they'll probably do maybe is they'll do a fusion and bolt it because I see this bone is damaged, this bone is damaged, and so is this. Mm. Five, six, and seven. The fifth dorsal is the one I showed up today. This is the one we need to correct. Okay. Right. Next component, I'm gonna double check, see what's going on the second dorsal, and also that fifth cervical, and then the atlas. Mm. I have to be correct, number five. Okay, that's all. How's the shoulders? Shoulders. I feel like after I do this adjustment, my left side, I don't know here, mm -hmm. uh, straighten up more easily. Good. Yeah. That, that's the effect, I think. How's the neck? Neck, right now, I don't really feel anything right now first. 
What is it? Dark. Yeah, this is still chronic. It's still there. Fix that fit dorsal. There's a piece. Mm. Yeah, just let it mm. Good. I feel like uh, more open up okay. on the other back. Uh, can straighten more. Uh, better than before. Straighten mm -hmm. and more. The air, I think, is a little bit better when okay. I breathe, mm -hmm. but still a little bit stuck more up at the mm -hmm. back. But I think it's, it's good. It's great. Good. How's the shoulders? Tightness? Shoulders. I think maybe a little bit uh, relaxed mm -hmm. when I just shoulder. So mostly we don't work with everything else. Oh, yeah. Have a seat. Yeah, it's still a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Head down. Yeah. Still gonna work on it. All right. Is that different now? Uh, Remember, this was very tight before. Yeah. It's much looser. Yeah. Bit so we still gotta unwind these two. Yes, a job. So the way we're corrected in this one, is, that's going to be that left, left. Relax shoulder, don't drop. Spun it. Oh, it's a lot worse. That was a big one, ain't it? Yeah, big, big one. Yep. Yeah. Very small here. Let's go to logo. Left shoulders. There it is. So, try the breathing now. How's it breathing? Uh, a lot better right now. Mm -hmm. And the stiffness at the upper back, after the crack, it feel uh, refreshed. And the neck part, yeah, I think I can more straighten up. Get my you know, neck straight mm -hmm. and not just always, I feel like before I put it bend forward and then can't really do this position a lot better right now. Nice. Nice. Okay, now here's the story because keep in mind, chiropractic is actually about your nervous system, mm -hmm. not just pain relief. Our duty is to restore nerve function to the intestines and also for the stomach going there. Mm -hmm. I want to know on the following visit. Mm -hmm. How's your bowel movements? Okay. Right? So keep in mind, because now we got those nerves working a little more, mm -hmm. right? You may have a tendency to go even more. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee it, because remember, your fifth lumbar, right, is trying to become part of the sacrum. Mm -hmm. 
So it may alter things a bit in there. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's mm -hmm. see how that do that does. Same thing as well. Let me know how your digestion is for your stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. We're all set. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Sen. You're welcome. Thank you. Give us the latest updates. How are things since uh, a couple of days ago? Uh, after the uh, first adjustment, mm -hmm. uh, my neck uh, feel less stiff mm -hmm. and uh, can focus more and concentrate more. And at the upper back, uh, more uh, not that stiff, stiff and uh, not that uh, tired all the time, but still a little bit stuck at the tip of the upper neck, mm -hmm. upper back. And for the lower back, after doing the adjustment. The first two days is uh, very great, mm -hmm. but I don't know why yesterday uh, after a walk for around 90 minutes and uh, and start to have, when I sleep, start to have some pain. Mm -hmm. And on the mid back, after doing uh, the adjustment, uh, have more bowels mm -hmm. because before it's like uh, one per two days, mm -hmm. but right now it's once per day. Nice. Maybe improve and yes. and. And uh, I don't know because I walked a little bit too much yesterday doing cold weather on Wall Street. And uh, uh, apart from the low back, the knee here, some it's very few pain, but not back pain. And that's all, yeah, all, all up there. Excellent. So we got a reading down here. Get some pressure way up here. All right. Let's see what we got here, Chi. Yeah, not as fixated as his last visit. Yeah. But it's still a work in progress. We yes. gotta correct that fella. Let's see what else we got going on. No, this is showing up. You feel that big knot there? Yeah, I feel like yeah. that Got it here. See that that fellow's moving just nicely. And that's pain. Just long before it's very painful. Okay, so how's everything right now? Uh I feel like after you did the adjustment on the neck, mm -hmm. the the major effect is uh feel like the blood is just go through the head right away. Just go up to the head. Mm -hmm. And uh more energetic and can uh, see them more sharply. The vision is, I think, is uh, is better. Nice. Yeah. So here's the story with this one, okay? Yeah. Because there's quite a bit of swelling there still. Yeah. I want you to ice that top part of your neck. Okay. Right. Twenty minutes, three times a day for the next couple of days. Okay. Right. Ice it down, and then everything else will start calming down as well. Okay. Right. I'll right. see you next week. 
Yeah, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Uh, Give us the latest updates. How have everything been doing so far? Uh, right now, the whole body is uh, more comfortable and more energy. Mm -hmm. And particular in the lower back, uh, I don't feel any pain anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the mid back, there's a little bit pain. And the upper back, I, I feel at a particular point, there's some kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. And the neck is much, much more better now. And right now, maybe a little bit uh, stiffness and uncomfortable. All right. All right, Jim, let's take a look, see what we got. Yeah, still swollen right there. Yeah. Yep, stuck. Same story. Good. Mm, there's still a little reading there. Yeah. Does it fall? Still yeah. open that one. That's what I have to adjustment uh, my fish is more clear and um, I think more blood is going into my brain mm -hmm. and uh, I can more concentrate and after the mid back I think I get more straightened up mm -hmm. and yeah more energetic nice just want to clear to viewers you said your vision improved yeah in what manner I'm more bright right. I think it's I think like more light mm -hmm. and more bright and uh, the color is more. Um, I don't know how to describe it. But it's, yeah, more bright and more more clear. Mm. Hey, that's great news. Yeah. Okay. See you in the next visit. Thank you. All right. All right, champ. So. Hey, hi. It's the final day. Yeah. Right. Give us the latest updates. Uh, after when you did the adjustment on Tuesday, the the most uh, obvious uh, I, what I feel is the unfit feeling on the upper part of the upper back is getting better mm -hmm. have less that kind of feeling and 
yeah, that's the most obvious part, and it's getting better. Good, good. How are things from the very beginning to now? From the beginning to now, uh, I feel more energetic, and I can uh, straighten my upper back more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think my and my vision is I think it's got a lot better. Good. And the whole part is is great. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the experience. Right? Yes. Thanks for the updates. Let's roll. Yep, and that's all right there. All right, the troll. Oh, it's my shoulders. Cut the bone, give him more. There's, there's a piece of it. There's the magic. There it is. You feel, feel better. Still a little pressure right down here. I don't know if it's is it right. related to this or I don't know. How is it right? You do have a rebel. Let's go. Good job. Good there it is. Okay. Walk around. See how I like it. Yeah, feel better. The pressure, yeah. It goes off after that just like. We mm. off and great. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Very All much. right. So we just corrected your rib head over there. Yeah. Okay. So that should ease things up. But here's a key component. Okay. Yeah. It's this foundation over there. Mm. That's an old injury. Mm. Okay? And it's a very old one. And you need to do some on your part. Mm. Right. Got to do some lower pelvic core exercises. Right. Okay. Keep that foundation in place. Mm. I do recommend, and I recommend uh, what we listened before, Dr. Sean Lui, he's in Hong Kong, and you guys are there, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Go over to him, okay? Mm. We'll give you the films, the listings. Mm. Make sure you're in tip-top condition, because all the things that you're feeling right now, in terms of your neck, 
the mid back, the low back, everything actually start right from there. Foundation. Mm, great. Right? Okay. All right, champ. You're Thank all you set. very much. Oh, you're welcome. Have a safe flight back Hong Kong. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.